In your consumer news this morning, weekly jobless claims moved slightly higher last week. The federal government reporting first-time applications for unemployment grew by 6,000 to 225,000. Economists expected the increase and believe the trend will continue. Despite the uptick, weekly claims are similar to pre-pandemic numbers and below historical averages. Costco is now selling platinum bars for just over $1,000. The Swiss made one ounce bars retail for $1,090 on the big box chain's website. The offering is an expansion of the collection of, of precious metals the company sells. The company started selling gold bars in 2023 and sold more than $100 million worth during the first quarter of that year. And Tesla is recalling 27,000 cyber trucks because of a rear view camera issue. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration says the image being displayed could be delayed, increasing the risk of a crash. The rear view display may appear blank for up to eight seconds when the car is in reverse. U.S. federal safety rules allows only a two second delay. Tesla has released a software update to fix the issue. Car crashes are the second leading cause of death for kids 4 to 10 years old, and a new study finds many children that age are not being kept in a booster seat that could save their life. Donya Backus explains. Challenge you. Both of them were very loving. They always greeted me with a hug and a kiss. Valerie Bailey Hearns lost her grandchildren, Knowledge and Kingston, last year. The boys and their mother were killed when an SUV smashed into their car. Neither child was in a car seat. Knowledge was and trapped in the car and Kingston was ejected from the car. According to Safe Kids Worldwide, 344 children ages 4 to 10 died in vehicle crashes in 2022. Nearly two out of five were not properly restrained. Many kids that age need a booster seat, but a new study shows four out of five caregivers moved their child from a booster seat to just a seatbelt alone before the child was big enough. Parents don't always understand the purpose of a booster seat. It's kind of in the name. It's a booster seat. It boosts you up so you fit the adult seat belt correctly. Morag Mackay from Safe Kids says children should be at least four foot nine before being taken out of a booster. If a seat belt is not correctly positioned, it can cause serious neck and abdomen injuries in a crash. And so we really encourage parents to ensure that they're buckling up their child um, every ride. Communities nationwide hold events like this to help parents make sure they have the right seat and that it's properly secured. I'm glad that you're here today. Valerie started her own charity that not only educates parents, but also gives away car seats. Maybe I help one family, one family, and maybe save one child or just kept somebody from experiencing this, this pain. Valerie believes saving a child's life is the best way to honor the memory of her own grandchildren. Research from Safe Kids Worldwide also finds booster seats can reduce the risk of serious injury by 45% compared to seatbelts alone.